Hiya. Hiya. Aren't you cold? Uh, no. Hey, is everything all right? Yeah. Where were you yesterday? Oh, a duty visit to his sister. Hey, it wasn't that bad, was it? Typical. You can never find a doctor when you need one. Why? What's happened? Well, I, uh... I don't know where to start. It happens so fast. Is Emma all right? Yeah, she's in hospital. And the baby? A boy. Six pounds, two ounces. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> it's fantastic! Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Well done! Yeah. And I delivered him myself. You what? Me, I, I delivered him. You're not serious? Yeah. Well, Norris, he held the book, but I did all the important stuff. <laughs> well, what's the matter? Don't you trust the medical profession? Well, it was, it was all too quick. I often thought to myself, you know, how would I cope with an emergency? I thought I'd probably faint or panic or do something stupid. Yesterday, I nearly did all three, but in the end, I delivered our son. Darling, you're going to be like this all day. Do you know what? I walked past Rovers this morning and I looked up at door and I thought to myself, if everything goes my way tomorrow at that auction, it could be my name over that door. Gina Gregory licensee. It's got a ring to it, don't you think? Yep, sounds like poetry. Can you pass me the scissors? We will get it, won't we? I'm sure you will. You stand as much chance as anyone else. I really want this, Dev. I do. I mean, I just know that I could make something really special of that pub. Oh, look, I have to get off. Hey, my last day's barmaid. One lady tomorrow. See ya. She's all fired up. Yep. Are you OK? Yeah. And we only feel awkward if we let ourselves feel awkward, right? Well there, cowboy. Where do you think you're going? To work. Uh, no, not today, Les. Uh, you see, we don't need you. Look, why don't you take a couple of days off, you know, get your head together. What? He's not wrong with me. I just want to work. Yeah, I'm sure you do. But let's not forget that you went AWOL with one of our cabs. Look, I can't have you taking liberties, Les. We've got a business to run. You're sacking me. Again? No. I'm putting you on trial. You behave yourself for a couple of days and then we'll decide if we want to give you some more shifts. Oh, yeah. And uh, stay off the booze. But what am I supposed to do? I don't know, Les. Go and watch telly. Some good films on this time of year. Cheers. What's going on? Nothing. Nothing going on. What are you shaking hands with him for, then? Because I'm going to see a couple of cars that he's got for sale. I don't believe this. You're doing it again. You're cutting me out of the loop. I was going to tell you. I don't like this secreted side to your nature. I'm beginning to worry me and you were drifting apart. Oh, don't be daft. Hey, lads. Have a good Christmas. Yeah. What are you smiling about? Are you cold? No. A little boy. Six pounds, two ounces, and I delivered him myself. Oh, fantastic, man. Thanks, mate. Well done. Thanks, it was amazing. I've been telling everyone, but I never get tired of telling the tale. I came home, Norris was there panicking, Emma was in labour, and then I said to her, right, Norris, put the kettle on. Mm, I'll have some more of these sausages, they're lovely. Maybe like some black pudding. Well, we've got some. Yeah. Mm, please, yeah. Oh, I'll get that. Well, you've got to promise me not to eat this bacon raw. No good for baby. Mm, yeah, just hurry up, man. Oh, hey, Curly. It's Curly Max. We're just having some breakfast. Mm, oh, hi, Curly. Hey. You want some? I've got plenty. Uh, no, thanks. I've just come to give you my news. News? What news? I'm a dad again. Little boy, six pounds, two ounces. Oh, oh. that's brilliant, Curly. Thanks. How's Emma? Oh, she's fine. How was her birth? Any complications? Got to tell us all the details. Well, she had it at home, in the front room. And uh, I did it. You did what? I delivered our son. You never. Yeah, I, d I did. Oh. I did. I tell you something. Whatever I do in this life, nothing will come close to the experience of delivering our own child into this world. Oh, I'm ace, Curly. I'm stunned. Hey, this is a cause of celebration. I should get some more sausage and bacon on. Lots of bacon. Bacon? Most people have got for your champagne. But we're heavily in support products at the moment. <laughs> Come and sit down. Right. After what you've been through, you need a good fry up. <laughs> Ash, get cooking. So you two will be bidding against each other for the honour of becoming landlady of the rose. That's right. She'll be fun. Well, I hope you'll understand that I shall have to remain completely neutral in all this. Yeah, I only want coffee in a bun. I, I want tea in a bun, actually. Right, well, it just remains for me to hope that the best lady wins. She will. She certainly will. Excuse me. Have you heard? 
heard what? Oh, obviously you haven't. Excellent. Then let me be the bearer of glad tidings. Yesterday, at approximately 1,700 hours, I delivered a baby boy six pounds two ounces to Mrs Emma Watts. What, you? Hmm? You delivered Emma's baby? I tell you, nobody could be more surprised than I was. But let me tell you the full story, see? We should start making plans for New Year. We've well, we got a plan, haven't we? Get blooded, sing old Lang Syne. That's it. Well, I thought we could spend New Year together. Yeah. Just a quiet night in the flat, just the two of us. <laughs> we spent all Christmas in the flat. Yeah, I know, and it's been fun. I'm really beginning to feel at home. Mm. Anyway, listen, got to go. I'll see you later. See you later. Cracked it then, mate. Cracked what? You ask her to move in, she'd be in like a flat. Yeah, and who said I wanted this move in? <sighs> well, you in trouble then, dude. She wants her feet under your coffee table, mate. Good morning, gentlemen. Have you heard the good news? Uh, yeah, Curly's told us everything. Oh. Oh. Uh, excuse me, everyone, if I could just have a moment of your time, if that's all right with you, Roy. I have a rather special announcement oh, to make. It, it, yes, it's all right, Curly. I've told them all in here. They, they, they all know. <laughs> oh, hiya, Bobby. Hiya. Uh, listen, uh, you know I don't like to interfere in Vic's life and all that, but um, you know how much he cares about you, don't you? Why, is that what you said? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's obvious to everybody, but what isn't obvious to everyone is that... Um, well, he's very lonely in that flat on his own, ever since me and Karen moved out, you know. Vic is lonely. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, I know he hides it well, but, uh, well, I don't know, you see, the, the flat's very big for just one person, so, um, you two ever thought about moving in together? Or... Does he want me to move in? Well, yeah, he's, uh... He's asked you to talk to me, hasn't he? Um, no, no. Um, I'm just helping out a friend. Listen, it's probably best if you don't say anything. I'll, uh, I'll see you later. OK. See ya. Junior, that you uh, came round and did these tests, you got 10 out of 10. I'm so proud of you. I'm proud of you and all. It'd be quite a story to tell him when he's older. <laughs> you know something? My heart feels. feels so big. So full of love for you and f for him. I feel like it's, it's gonna burst right out my chest. I know. I have never been so happy. In all my life. Me and all. I'm tired. Happy and tired. He's not too keen on sleeping, isn't our son? Well, he seems happy enough now. Yeah. Gave him his first feed. Oh, and how was that? Well, it was a lot trickier than they say in the books, but I think I'm getting the hang of it. He knows what he's doing more than I do. That's because he's perfect. <laughs> Just like his mum. Hey, what's she you doing? What's it look like? <laughs> you got the wrong house, mate. No, I haven't. I reckon you have. We live here. We know if you're up for sale. Look, I just put the signs up. Not my problem. Hey, Mum, tell this bloke he's got the wrong house. I wish I could, love. Look, come in, I've got something to tell you. Hey, what's going on? What do you care? Uh, do you know when she'll be able to come home? The doctor will be around later. And if she's no objection, you can go home later today. Today? Well, that's great. I'm not sure I'm ready to go home yet. Why not? I don't know, I just sort of feel safe in here. But all the experts are on if out goes wrong. I've never looked after a baby before. Well, I've never delivered a baby before until yesterday, and that went all right. 
And you better think of a name for him. <laughs> yeah, we thought about Rebecca or Rachel if it was a girl, but the only name we had for Bo was Daniel. The thing is, he doesn't look like a Daniel, does he? No, he doesn't. Better start thinking. You see, we should be doing this together. We are doing it together. Yeah, only because I caught you making secret arrangements. There's a bit of rust there, man. I was going to tell you. Yeah, so you say. But I don't know why you're so suspicious. Because of you, that's why. Making arrangements on the sly. Paranoid. That's what you are. Hmm. Hey, that panel's been repaired, though. What happened? Not sure. Hey, he's right, it's been resprayed, this. Oh, there. It's a parking accident. It's a tiny little bump. Are you two following me? Why didn't you tell us before? Because I wanted to sort out renting somewhere. I didn't think it would move so fast, and I didn't want you getting upset. Well, we have to move away. I don't know. I hope not. Hey, we've been through worse than this before. It'll be all right, trust me. You know, I've killed Dennis for this. No, you won't. Because for once, this is not Dennis Stringer's fault. Well, whose fault is it, then? It's nobody's fault. Look, look, just leave it, eh? We'll be fine, honest we will. Now, Mummy's going to the pub for some peace and quiet. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. And I won't do it again. So, uh, run along and be good boys, eh? And you still want two two apiece? Yeah. What do you think? Nah. No, I'm sorry, mate, but you know, thanks for showing us the cars anyway. All right. Three eight. But that's as low as I go, I mean it. That's rock bottom. Three five. No. Three seven fifty. Three six. Cash. Now. Final offer. <sighs> go on then. Remind me not to do business with you two again. I've not told you, Anna. <laughs> I've told so many people today, I can't remember who I have told and who I haven't. What? Great, a new audience. Look, this is the story of the miracle of life, so if you're sitting comfortably, I'll begin. I tell you, nobody was more surprised than me. Hi, Hello, darling. You like the car that's got the cream? Yeah, well, just clinched a deal on another couple of motors. That's great. It looks like the new year's going to be a good one for us after all. Yeah, I reckon so. And you know what put a smile on my face? Oh, yeah? What's that? Waking up to you, 365 days of the new year. <laughs> Hiya. Hiya! Oh, Hi, Curly. it's Curly Watts as I live and breathe. Let's have a cheer for the new dad. Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Oh, what can I get you, Curly, love? Oh, no, it's all right. It's all right, I'll sit. Uh, I was here for her. No, ladies, please. Yeah, well, I don't care. I'm senior barmaid, aren't I? Only till tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, well, we'll see. There'll be a few changes around here after tomorrow. Ladies, please, let's not fight. This is a happy day. Let me have the honour of serving the proud father. Curly, it's on the house. Actually, I'd like to buy a round for the whole pub. Look, oh, that's oh. very generous of you. The drinks are on Curly! Yay! I'll just have an orange juice, though. I've got to pick Emma and the baby up at three o'clock. Walk it in. It's like he's walking on air. I reckon I'll be like that. Yeah. We should start planning now. Start planning what? I don't know, names. I mean, we haven't seriously thought about names. There's loads to do after baby's born. I mean, you've got this idea if it's going to be christened or not. Of course it's going to be christened. Well, in that case, I want that as one of the good parents. Well, we've got plenty of time to start planning things like that. She's very calm, you know, considering uh, the whole oh, thing. From what I hear, this is the man of the moment. Oh, no, no, no. It, it was a joint effort, really. I have had the uh, the appropriate training myself, of course, with the Weatherfield First Aiders. It's just that I've yet to be called upon. <laughs> oh, well, you want to have a word with Maxine? I think she'll be next. He was a tower of strength. We couldn't have done it without him. Well done. Oh, have you decided on a name yet? I was still thinking. Why don't you name him after Weatherfield's newfound midwife, eh? Oh, no, 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 what a suggestion. It's an idea. Norris Watts. It does have a certain ring to it. <laughs> Don't you have any other names? You mean, like, aliases and non -difference? No, no, middle names. Oh, yes, yes, Benjamin. Norris Benjamin Cole. Benjamin? Oh, Benjamin's nice. Yeah, it's different. No, it was my father's father's name, you see. Benjamin Watts. Oh, it does sound rather grand, doesn't it? Eh? And masculine. It's very masculine. 
Yes. Sounds like some very important Victorian engineer who designed bridges and aqueducts. <laughs> Benjamin Watts. You know, I quite like that. I think so? Hmm. Well, right, let's go with that, then. I think we'd better ask Emma first, eh? Oh, yes, yes, yes. The, the mother should have a bit of an input. <laughs> <laughs> What's it like? So you've been dealing with Carl for long, then, have you? Uh, first time today. He said you'd done some work for him at the gate. Yeah, that's right. You all right, then, is he? How do you mean, all right? Was well, he a decent bloke? As far as I know, I mean, don't really know him that well. Hey, I want a word with you. Well, I'm sorry, lads, if you want a cab, they're on it. How come you're selling our house? I'm not selling your house. No, so how come there's a sign outside? My mum's selling the house, she needs the money. She's got the rent. She needs more than the rent. Look, I know it's come at a bad time, but I've had no choice. I'm sorry, I feel bad about it, and I think... See if I can do something to help you out. Don't bother, we don't need help from scum like you. It was the most magical moment. There was a, a flood of emotion surging through me. Sounds fantastic. I was, I was just overcome. I was overcome with, with joy, real joy. There's only one word that can describe how I was feeling that moment, and that's awe. Oh. Awe? Oh. Yeah, awe. Oh. I was overwhelmed by a sense of joy, reverence, wonder. And something else. Hope. I was awestruck. You still are? Well, you're a lucky man. A very lucky man. Yeah, well, I'd, uh, I'd best get off to the hospital, bring him home. <laughs> you drive carefully, mate. Yeah, well, give him our love, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Well. And when can we come and see you? Uh, come tomorrow. Just uh, give us a chance to settle in, all right? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Okay, see you later. See you. See you. See you, Kelly. I think I'd better get off now as well. I'll stay for a bit longer, let him baby's head. I know. Well, it's different when I'm not drinking in it. You stay, I'll just see you later. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. It's just, you know, like you say, with all this happening, I you realise it can happen to us soon. I don't want to move away. Me neither. Maybe we could rent the house off the new owners. No, I doubt it. They're selling because the lease is up. I reckon we'll have to move again. I'm not sure our mum's going to want to stay around here. Max! What do you want? Just to talk. I'm in no mood to talk. Oh, please. Five minutes. It's cold out here. Five minutes. Everyone at home sends their love. And I told them that if they wanted to come and see the baby, they could come round and see him tomorrow. Yeah, OK. Still no name for Baby Watts, then? No, not yet. There was a suggestion that we name him after Norris. What? Norris Minor? <laughs> no, no, his, his middle name. It's Benjamin. Benjamin? Benjamin sounds a bit grown up for a baby. I quite like Ben, though. Ben? Yeah. Little baby Ben Watts. <laughs> you know, I quite like that, Ben. Do we have a name then? Yeah. Our son is called Ben. So, what do you want? I don't know. It's uh, complicated. Well, uh, Fred and Eve have gone house hunting, so you haven't got long. Do you have to be so cold with me all the time? Yes, I do my way of coping. I know. I know. I, I'm, I'm sorry. It's just... when I was talking to Curly in there, he was explaining how he felt delivering his own Matt, baby. please don't. This is me and Ashley's baby. You know it could be mine. I mean, I know it could be mine, and I can't get that thought out me head. Well, you can't think like that. You can't let yourself think like that. It's bad enough as it is at the moment. Now she's talking about having you as the baby's godfather. I can't cope with that. She's going to have to start staying away from me, please. I know. Look, I know. I I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I'll go. I, I didn't mean to upset you. It's just seeing Curly so happy. I know. <sighs> OK, 
I'll, tr I'll try. I promise. It's not easy. You know, we're neighbours. We're friends. We're bound to see each other every now and again. Yeah, I know. Oh. So, do you have any plans for New Year? No. Not really thought about it, actually. <sighs> OK, well, uh, if I don't see you before, Happy New Year. I'm sorry. I'll go. Yes, it... I will send you a photograph as soon as I can, Alice. Yes, he does look a bit like you. Right. Good night, then. Sleep tight. Bye. I thought you might drop off again. Oh, I'm still here. Do you want anything? A cup of tea, a glass of orange? No, I'm fine. You go back to sleep then. Mm. Keep an eye on Ben. Yeah, of course I will. <coughs> oh dear. Go on here, little man. Oh. It's a daisy now. <coughs> Guess who I am? I'm your daddy. And you see all this? This is your house. Your home. Yeah. Welcome home, baby Ben Watts. <laughs>